Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and uh, welcome back to part 2 on how to make a wallet, photo, mat album or book. So uh, uh, in this part we are going to make uh, the cover for this and also glue this inside. So then we will start with a chipboard and you need to cut out a 2, a 9 and 3 8 by 6 and 5 8 and that's 1 8 larger than uh, this just to be sure to have something to glue on here so it go, won't go on the outside so you cut out two of these and then uh, you cut out uh, the one for the inside and that's 9 and 3 8 so all is 9 and 3 8 high by 4 and 5 8 and then we need some spines and this is cut at 9 and 3 8 by 1 and a half and this one uh, that's going to go on this side uh, for the small side here and this is going to go on the outside here and that is cut uh, 9 and 3 8 by 1 inch so then we will glue this together and here I will use uh, the TVEC envelope and uh, to maybe show you a bit here I'm using this one but if you don't have this you can use uh, a strong glue so um, can be maybe show you a bit how this works so slide this I uh, cut this at one and a half inch uh, slightly uh, shorter than one and a half inch and I hold my finger here to make sure it's uh, straight so help it a bit so we have glue on one side so uh, if you just take it off now it can be um, and not sticky all the way so I like to go over with uh, something you can use your ruler or anything just to make sure the glue is well on here all the way so then you can take this off and now it's the glue on the back side here so I already cut out some uh, some of them are uh, one and a half inch and some of these are one inch that goes on this small spine here. So then we can start. So we start with uh, these two large uh, pieces here and the uh, one and a half inch inside here. So we're just going to uh, hold them together like so. So then we would use the one and a half inch stripe here. So this is, uh, I start uh, always with the inside. So just glue it on. See if I got it straight on here. So maybe a bit in here. So I need to hold it uh, together. So, and then I also like to go over again so I'm sure it will stick you well down if I can find mine in this one. So, and then we need one more here. So, like this. So uh, went around with uh, white uh, paint here. So so on the back side. Yeah, I think that's fine. So they are going to stick together here. So then we move on to this spine here, that is one inch. So here I have some smaller stripes that I cut at uh, one inch. So if you find it easier, you can just uh, glue it on this one first. So, and then move them together. But I find it is most easy to uh, to uh, take it on the same time or both on the sides. So just uh, try and play with it. What works best for you. So and now we are going 
have to take this one in from here. Then we need one more. That's one inch here. hands here. <laughs> Uh, scissor and oh, that's great uh, for uh, cutting glue and so it slips it's not fastened to the scissor so now we have made the inside and we need to uh, glue these parts here as well so then we can start with the one and a half strip here and then I uh, take it up like so and glue this on first up so it stands in an angle here like you see here and then I just work it over a bit like so and then I like to take my nail I can take uh, maybe a score tool as well here but I find it easy to use my nails here so and then when you flatten it out you don't get this bulk here because if we don't take this in it gets a bit bulk here so I'll go over here so the same for the next one same angle. Work it down. So, take nails inside here again. for here. So. Take it one inch here again. But here you don't have to be precise at all. So. At cutting the strips I mean. <laughs> so if you get it larger or smaller just be sure that it will fold over. So. Here, it can't stand up like so, so I think I take it this way and work it over. So I have to do it one at a time. So and now for the last one. So if I can find one more, that's one inch. So 
so be sure not to glue it on like so when it's flat because then you, you can't fold it so that's why we take it up so taking this on here to be glued on the inside photo uh, mat holders. with this side here and uh, we need some magnets here so here I've already glued on the magnets and this was uh, 12 millimeter and I just taken some score tape on the back here so take it here I think and just some tape over to secure it a bit So it helps when you're sliding the photo mat so they don't get stuck in this, uh, yeah, here. So then we can glue this one on. So taking three magnets here. just a glue it lightly so you can move it a bit you see how so I think and this uh, will close over here so now we will take the magnet on uh, this side here so then I just hold this over because uh, this is going to go on this side so I hold this over here and then we can fasten the magnets. So I already taken some glue on here, some score tape. So let me take it this way. So here about. And then it will fasten by itself here. So it meets uh, the magnets under. And uh, if you don't build it up so much here, if you don't uh, want to use uh, pop dots and so on your album, um, 
then you can take the spine a bit, uh, maybe three quarter here and uh, one and a quarter here. So then you don't have to have it so thick. So I will try to fold this over and see if that works. Or if we need to precise it or precise it more. Let's see. I think I have to adjust it a bit here. So let's see on the top. glue it like so and then we can see if it meets up. Should do. <laughs> Here about. So we can try and see how this works. Yeah, that goes fine. So then we can glue on this on the inside. And uh, Be sure <laughs> that um, we have the pockets down, and I forgot to see here if I did that. So yeah, <laughs> I was lucky there. So be sure to take it these down here. So let me try to line it up here. this down. <laughs> and now for the last one. And if you don't like to use magnets you can use some seam binding for the closure. Um, here, just uh, take it under here or on the back side and then on the front here so you can tie a bow here if you like to. So sewing the pockets down here. <laughs> so then we can glue this on here. some uh, papers in the middle here. And here I cut out uh, from the same color paper. Uh, uh, slightly smaller than one and a half inch and slightly smaller uh, than one because it's going to fold up here so we need a bit room. So one sixteen inch maybe smaller. So let's see if I can manage to see myself here what I'm doing. I need to have it this way I think. So these strips I cut the same uh, width here, 9 and 3 8. Oops. Take all the glue inside here. So we try to line it up. is uh, finished to be decorated. I can show you a bit maybe on the photo mat here. So uh, this was then uh, six and a quarter by um, four 
and a quarter and this is uh, six by uh, by um, four so this uh, I'm using this uh, on both uh, sides so some of them I use on this side and some of them I use on this side so I'm just having uh, three different patterns here so I will show you the last uh, I'm using also Line it up. <laughs> so, so I've already glued on the other ones, so I can show you a bit maybe. So uh, we can start maybe with uh, this on the top here. So, so, and uh, this one. So these are the three I'm using. So this is the same paper and this is another one. So uh, put this inside here. And now it's a room here for uh, to build it up a bit. If you like to use some pop dots. And this one here. And um, for the sides here, I can show you maybe a bit here as well. So um, then I choose to go the same. So let's see if I'm in frame here. <laughs> so this goes on the top here. And uh, I think I will have some uh, of the frames use them here, but I need uh, this uh, paper on the back side. So maybe I flip it around like so when I uh, decorate it and see what I will use. But for now I will just uh, put this inside uh, just to show you. So. And uh, if you don't like to make these flips you can uh, use uh, what the photo mats I'm going to put uh, on the back side here. This was the one five and a quarter by four and a quarter, and in the middle four by five. So this goes here, and this is yeah, it goes over. <laughs> See, open it up, and this is uh, um, four and a quarter uh, by four and a quarter, but really it's uh, uh, eight and a half and scored here, and this is four by four. And this flips over like so. So should have gone along down here, I think. So and this also maybe work a bit with it like so. And these photo mats I've left uh, blank on the back for some journaling or yeah maybe place a little photo and journaling on the side. So, but you can do whatever you like to. So, you can put this inside also so you can see. in as well but I will do that off camera and uh, if you like to see me decorate it a bit on the inside and outside I will make one more a video and show you a bit how you can use your fussy cut so um, yeah I hope this was uh, helpful and uh, take care everyone and have fun creating bye bye